Myanmar has gagged media linked to parliamentary speaker Shui Man after he and his allies were purged from the ruling party leadership by President Thien Sen on Thursday months ahead of a historic general election. The media crackdown comes after a heavy-handed involvement of security forces in Shui Man's ouster this week and will add to concern about the progress of democratic reforms, given the government's use of tactics reminiscent of military-era purges. Shui Man angered the military by supporting an attempt in parliament in June to amend the constitution to limit the political role of the armed forces. The United States has emphasized the need to maintain public trust in Myanmar's democratic shift ahead of the November 8 election, which could be the first free and fair vote since the end of 49 years of military rule in 2011. Following Shui Man's removal as ruling party chief, the Ministry of Information ordered the Union Daily Newspaper and the weekly journal leader to suspend print runs, Yamin Tin, editor-in-chief of Union Daily, told Reuters. Both publications are run by the ruling Union Solidarity and Development Party, USDP, and, until Wednesday, were regarded as mouthpieces for Shui Man. The staff were told to keep working so we expect we will be able to resume after some time, Yamin Tin said. The Minister of Information was unavailable for comment. Also on Friday, radio station Cherry FM, linked to Shui Man's daughter-in-law, was off the air. We lost our signal, said then Tweza, a manager at Cherry FM. He said the signal went down early on Thursday and he did not know what caused the stoppage. Cherry had not received an order to stop broadcasting, he added. Shui Man was removed as leader of the USDP but still holds the powerful position of Speaker of Parliament and he visited the parliamentary complex on Friday. I will work for the good of the people and will stand for the people until the end, he said in a message posted on his Facebook page, his first public comment since his removal as party leader. Parliament Speaker Under Pressure Shui Man may well face more trouble when Parliament reconvenes on August 18. He is coming under pressure to table a bill that could lead to his own impeachment. Myanmar's Electoral Commission sent a letter to Shui Man on Thursday requesting he table a vote on a bill to allow constituents to recall members of parliament. State media printed the letter on Friday. Parliament debated the act twice in July. If it is approved, lawmakers would lose their seats if 1% of constituents sign a petition to recall them and the Electoral Commission finds their complaint is justified. Shui Man faces a petition from his own constituents for his support for the bill to amend the constitution and limit the military's role in politics. The timing of the letter, and the attention it was given by state media, which did not report Shui Man's ousting, is likely to raise eyebrows, said Myanmar News Service Irrawaddy. It's not a coincidence, said political analyst Yan Myo Thien. It seems the authorities are serious about taking action against him since they sent that letter at this time. It may also be to put pressure on him to resign. Security forces surrounded the monumental USDP headquarters late on Wednesday and soon afterwards powerful politicians close to the president began meetings to purge Shui Man's faction. Opposition leader and Nobel laureate Aung San Suuki cancelled travel plans after hearing of events at the USDP, said Win Hdain, a member of the executive committee of SUUKYI's National League for Democracy, NLD. She thinks the change of leadership in the USDP is very important both for the country and the parliament and she shouldn't be traveling at this point, he said. Shui Man had built ties with SUUKYI, who has called repeatedly for the military to withdraw from politics. Her relationship with Thien Sen is frosty. SUUKYI in an interview with Reuters earlier this year, said the president ran a hardline regime and was insincere about reform. Shui Man is closer to Aung San Suukyi, said Win Hdain. As for the president Thien Sen, he and Aung San Suukyi are not very close so it is hard to tell how the situation is going to evolve from now on. Suukyi's NLD, which swept the polls in 1990 but was never allowed to rule by the military, is expected to do well in November. But she is banned from becoming president under a clause in the military-drafted constitution.